you're going to notice a lot of difference like you're going to notice your hair grow <laughs> to bring this video today because it's the long awaited video like <laughs> I've been wanting to do this like for some time so yeah so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 hair growth tips okay and that have been working for me and it's been working for a lot of people the tips I give people so yeah I'm going to put this all in this one video and I'm very sure you don't want to miss out in any single tip so make sure you watch this video to the very end so with no further ado let's just get straight into it okay no time for it <laughs> so my first tip would be leave your hair alone yes I know it sounds crazy but yes you need to leave your hair alone let's understand the fact that the more you're touching your hair the more you manipulate your hair the more you're doing things to your hair the more damage you're going to cause to your hair and your hair doesn't want to damage it wants growth okay <laughs> we're trying to grow our hair here not destroy it so just try to make sure you're not touching your hair too often make sure you're putting your hair in the air side that requires you not touching it like this is like the main thing this is the key okay keep your hands away from your hair is the key because if your hands are away from your hair your hair is not going to get any chance to break and if your hair does not break your hair is going to get longer because actually the breakage your hair experiences is what actually makes your hair stay short or get shorter but if you can minimize that breakage like the bare minimum you're going to notice a lot of difference like you're going to notice your hair grow so make sure you're not always touching your hair make sure your hair is in a protective style okay so that's my first point make sure you're putting your hair in a protective style so that means you're not going to be touching your hair over manipulating your hair and that basically means you're leaving your hair alone to grow now the second tip would be to make sure the ends of your hair are tucked in like very 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 important the ends of your hair are the weakest and oldest parts of your hair when they're exposed to different things like they're supposed to like touching your shoulders they're supposed to like the weather and they're drying out and all this stuff they're going to get weak and they're going to break and you don't want your hair to break because you want it to grow so always make sure that whatever hairstyle you are in the ends of your hair are top the once in a while you can decide to like try something like this and leave the ends of your hair to like change the look but make sure the ends of your hair are always top they're like it is very very important because when the ends of your hair are exposed, you know, the ends of your hair are the weakest parts of your hair, they're going to keep getting weak. And if the ends of your hair gets very weak within three months because you're um, leaving the ends exposed and all of that, it means you're going to have to trim your hair every three months because the ends of your hair will be too weak and it's just going to keep on breaking. But if you um, keep the ends of your hair in, you keep it moisturized and all of that, and your hair the ends of your hair stays for up to a year without getting extremely weak to the extent that it would need trim it means you can actually stay a year without trimming your hair so this is why i always exaggerate on this part make sure the ends of your hair are tucked in it's more important than you actually think it is but as i said once in a while try something new but always make sure the air styles you put on have the ends of your hair tucked in which is means always make sure you're wearing protective styles so my third tip would be to keep your hair moisturized like this is very important our hair is like a plant it needs moisture it needs water okay so just like a plant if you don't um, water it really never falls it's just going to die get dry and that's it so same with our hair you need to moisturize your hair and by moisturizing your hair I don't mean just I'm um, spraying your hair with water that's more like hydrating your hair your hair needs more moisture it needs things that would um, give your hair that real moisture and make your hair stay moisturized for longer like using a leave-in conditioner to moisturize your hair leave-in conditioners are um, 
formulate it with ingredients that would keep your hair moisturized longer than using just water so yes i would recommend getting a leave-in conditioner so you can use that to always moisturize your hair seal in your moisture yeah seal in the moisture that is like using hair butter or hair oil to seal in the moisture because that will like make life a lot more easier for you i mean if you don't seal in the moisture it means you're going to have to re-moisturize your hair over and over and over again because your hair is just going to dry out sealing in the moisture that you put in your hair that is using a hair butter or hair oil helps you leave the moisture in your hair for longer and as i said your hair needs moisture to survive like moisture is very very important so in as much as you're moisturizing your hair make sure you're also sealing in that moisture by going in after using your leave-in conditioner to moisturize your hair make sure you go in with a hair butter or oil just to seal in that moisture and make sure your hair stays moisturized for long. Number four, do not comb your hair when it is dry. Do not detangle your hair when it is dried because when your hair is dry it can break easily like it's more prone to breakage like it's it's at the weakest point when your natural hair is dry. However, when it's moisturized, it's at a better point where you can detangle your hair without experiencing that much breakage. Now my fifth tip would be do not skip deep conditioning. Like, don't skip deep conditioning. As I said, our hair loves moisture, like very important. Now deep conditioning your hair is the time your hair gets the maximum moisture. It's the only time your hair like really sucks in that moisture, okay? It's like really gets <laughs> that moisture. So yeah, make sure you're deep conditioning your hair after you shampoo your hair because that means you will be giving your hair more moisture. And now that moisture in some will help your hair get softened, will help your hair have that bounce and reduce the amount of breakage you're going to get. Now remember the whole idea here is to reduce breakage so you can grow your hair longer. And you can do that by deep conditioning your hair because it means your hair would um, have moisture which in turn will soften it which in turn will make it easier for you to manipulate your hair like you can then comb your hair better without actually breaking your hair number six tip would be detangling your hair with the right detangling tool now don't go ahead using the small comb to detangle your hair because you know how natural hair is it's not easy to comb okay so don't use something like this to comb your hair or any small comb because it's going to break your hair it's going to break your hair instead try using a bigger comb like this a white tooth comb or even a white tooth comb that is bigger than this or you can try using a tangle scissor or a tangling brush anything that you feel actually works for your hair and combs your hair without breaking it but do not use a fine tooth comb or do not use any small tooth um, tool that's going to break your hair Okay, so make sure you're using the right tool to detangle your hair. Number seven, number seven, number seven, number seven. I guess <laughs> number seven tip would be to trim the ends of your hair. Yes, unfortunately, you have to trim the ends of your hair once in a while. Your hair gets to a point, the end of your hair gets to a point where it is super weak and it's just going to keep breaking except you trim it. And I have a video on that showing you how to identify these dead ends or these split ends where you can like know if you need to um, trim your hair or know where to trim your hair and I would say you should just go ahead and watch that video. However, make sure that whenever you notice you have split ends you trim it off now, i'm not saying you go trim your hair, um, hair every four to six weeks no please do not do that if you're trimming your hair every four to six weeks you're yeah, losing your hair like you're losing every single <laughs> hair you're growing because come on our hair grows just half an inch in a month average and imagine if you're still trimming that same half an inch in a month like you're cutting your hair you're cutting away your growth so i don't recommend trimming your hair every four to six weeks i recommend trimming your hair only when you can visibly see that you have split ends and as i said you would understand that better when you watch that video when you can see that the ends of your hair, your hair are very thin or are weak and start to experience breakage then you should trim your hair so yeah number eight tip would be to use the right um, air accessories now instead of using this regular rubber band to like tie your hair that can actually cause friction which can actually lead to breakage without you actually 
So instead, try using um, tools like this. This is a satin, um, satin scrunchie, um, a satin as a smoother surface for your hair to glide through. So it's not going to cause any friction on your hair. It's not going to break your hair. It is very, very safe for your hair. So try using one of these, get one of these instead of using this rubber bands that we use or using any of this um, other stuff that could actually break your hair or waking your hair without you knowing. Number nine tip, always sleep with a satin bonnet or a satin scarf or a silk bonnet or silk scarf. Now this is the um, silk bonnet I use. I made this myself. If you want a video on how you can make your own satin bonnet, tell me I would make a video for you. So um, make sure you're sleeping with either a satin or a silk bonnet or scarf. Now this is because the fabric as I said is very smooth and this gives a um, way for your hair to like glide on it instead of your hair to be rubbing against rough um, fabrics like your pillowcase, your um, bed and all this stuff, those things could actually cause friction which in turn could actually cause breakage without you knowing it. So try to make sure you're always sleeping with a satin bonnet. Like it's actually more, it's actually important that you may not know but it's actually, may not know but it's actually quite important. So make sure you're sleeping with a satin bonnet or a satin scarf. This will reduce the amount of friction that can happen on your hair and this would reduce the amount of damage you could be causing for your hair and if you, uh, if your hair is only exposed to very little damage, it's meant to take a long time for your hair to get weak that you will have to trim. You get your point. You get it right? And now my number 10 tip would be keeping your scalp clean. Now I feel this isn't talked about enough but yes you have to keep the scalp, your scalp clean. Now the scalp is where your hair grows out from, right? If your scalp are filled with dirt, they're clogged with dirt, they're clogged with oil, it's just going to make it harder for your hair to grow out from and I'm pretty sure you don't want that for your hair, right? So for you to like get the most benefit from your hair, to like get your hair to grow out the most, make sure your scalp is clean. Like, make sure your scalp is clean. Now, don't stay a month without washing your hair. I always recommend you washing your hair every one to two weeks, depending on how your scalp is, your scalp condition, blah blah blah. Depending on all of that, but don't stay for a very long time without washing your hair, because your scalp needs a breathing space. It needs that smooth breathing space for it to grow out okay i guess that's all my tip and uh, i'm glad i've finally been able to bring that out today yeah and if you enjoyed this video you know what to do you know what to do make sure you like please don't leave us a like in this video that's what i really want yeah and if you want more videos like this from me please subscribe 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 i'll bring more i will bring more you guys you know <laughs> And yeah, share this video to anyone who needs to see it and you can check out my social media um, for more of this hair content and I will see you in my next video. Ciao!